Hello, I'm Kit Knowles. We're here today in the Passive House on Zetton Road, uh, where Eekspheric have produced Europe's highest performance retrofit building. Uh, we're going to talk today about wood burning stoves and direct air feeds. We were recently on Radio 5 where there were lots of questions asked around direct air feeds and the value that wood burning stoves can have in a modern day society, particularly with a lot of the concerns that people have had in the media around wood burning stoves being banned down in London. So today we're going to have a little look around how we use a wood burning stove in this very, very high performance building and understand the effects that they can have. So to start, I just want to bring your attention to a pipe that is underneath this stove. And this is called a direct air feed. The purpose of this is to bring in oxygen from outside for the fire to burn with. The oxygen is essential, obviously, for combustion. And this direct air feed means that where this stove is drawing air from is directly outside and outside of our insulated and airtight layers. If, like in the normal situation, you're drawing your oxygen from inside the building, you actually create a negative pressure. And for every litre of air that you consume in a stove, that's another litre of air that needs to come back in from outside to neutralise that pressure. So the purpose of having uh, the air brought from the outside is to mean under no circumstances, whether the stove is switched off or on, can any air be brought in from this environment which means that you benefit from all the incidental gains, all the heat that it has to give out, without any of the negativity that would come from having a large amount of air being drawn across the space. Those drafts that you feel when you light a stove, those are quite a negative thing in terms of impact on comfort and builds. And what we are able to do is maintain our airtight envelope. With this specific stove, what it is is a wall-mounted stove and we've actually put the direct air feed down into the cellar. This has another really positive benefit. For those of you with subfloor voids or cellars, particularly ones that are suffering from potential moisture-related issues, when this stove is not lit, the stack effect still draws air out of those spaces. And when it is lit, it can be drawing 10 times faster as we've measured with our own uh, vein anemometers. So what we've got here is a situation where whatever's happening, this stove is helping to keep that cellar dry. And that's really, really important when you go to a high performance building like this, again, where you've got membrane technologies that are preventing the kind of normal drying effects where your cellars and subfloor voids actually dry and vent into the environment above. Ours keep it sealed and this stove helps to keep that dry. Uh, the output of the stove in terms of the flue is actually back into the wall and then off to the ceiling around about 9 metres above us.